Okay, I think I am live. Cool. Let's see what I need to do here. Okay, I think I am. Pop up the chat. It's visible. This is my first ever live stream flying solo. Uh, normally I have Nelson in here helping me out. Uh, let's see, how do I go ahead and share this? Okay, let's go ahead and place my on time. Looks like someone's in here too. So welcome. I'm just getting everything set up right now. So hope everyone is doing well. Let's see. I'm just sending this over to a few friends. Okay. So it looks like someone's in here. Um, I haven't heard anything. No one's talking in the chat, um, but that is totally fine. Uh, welcome to the first Love Flow with Waldo episode. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, hopefully my mic is coming through clearly. Uh, please let me know if you're having any issues hearing me. Um, get started here. Uh, it sound, it sounds like everything's coming through OK. Um, cool. So this evening, let me go ahead and switch over to this other view. And cool. Um, okay, looks like I forgot to put my face on here. Uh, but I promise you I am here and I'm going to start working. Um, so first video, we'll be covering out how to build out this style guide. Um, which Aaron Eicher uh, built out. It's a beautiful style guide if you haven't seen it yet. Um, so my first step here is I've opened up both of the PNGs in um, a new tab here and I'm just going to go ahead and save those images. Um, just drag them to my desktop really quick. Cool. And since I don't have that uh, font that is referenced. I'm just going to go ahead and use Lotto. So cool. So here's my Webflow project. Um, what I typically end up doing is I'll upload the images directly into the project. And now they're uploaded. And so yeah, I also have to go and set up the um, fonts. So well, I think Lotto is already a default font. I'll double check. Yeah, it's already a default font. So uh, when I'm, whenever I'm styling out a style guide, uh, I'll start with the global body tag here. And I'll change the font face from Arial. So in this case, okay, I might be leaning towards Open Sans. It might be a little bit better. Now let's go with Open Sans. Um, and then let's see. Go ahead and drag in just an image so we have a reference here. So we're going to start out with uh, this page build. I'm going to set it to high PPI. Let's just set it to like 50% width here. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and set it to that 100% width. Oh, awesome. Stu is here. <laughs> Welcome, Stu. Um, yeah, this is the first one. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab these colors and add them um, to uh, my 
global swatches. So to do that, you just go ahead and click on a color, and then you can click on the color picker here. And let's see, we have this uh, darker background here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. Um, and there's like a black color. Sometimes I name the colors, sometimes I don't. Uh, it really depends. Um, and then, let's see, we can also go ahead and add in, let's call this like a light blue color. Or, I don't know, that's still pretty dark. Um, it's like dark blue. <laughs> cool, go ahead and save that. And we've got one more right here. Unless I'm adding the exact same one. Double check. No, I'm going to add this one right here. Cool. And then add that in. And create the next swatch. Cool. Okay, so this first page basically just has uh, this left hand panel here, which you'll be able to navigate around the, the site with, uh, as well as then just like a typography heading. Um, it's probably going to be like the H1 up here and then we've got H2 and then all these different styles where we'll say exactly um, how everything is styled out. So um, I'm going to open this up in a window next to my browser uh, just so I can easily reference that um, without having to keep it open over here. So I do this pretty often especially with um, any kind of photoshopped Webflow projects. Um, so cool, I've got it open over here. The stream is still pulling everything through. Cool. Okay. So, uh, first thing, go ahead and just give that body uh, that's this dark background color. Um, so let's get a dark background. It's almost black. I've got blue, black color. And we have this side panel here. So, let's go ahead and just call this side panel. I'm guessing it's going to be fixed, so I'll just set it to the fixed position in that upper left hand corner. Um, and set it to say like 30% perhaps is the width. Um, if you hold in shift and arrow up and down, you'll go up and down by increments of 10. Um, so I might do 25% here, or let's just go 20%. And set it to 100 VH. That's the height. And in here we have a small logo, um, which I don't have that right now. Uh, we could go download um, an icon real quick. Uh, but I think so. I'll grab like a. Um, let's go to flat icon. And just grab. Gear. Okay. Let's see. What do I want here? Just something simple. Um, something right here would be nice. Go ahead and grab that. Let's see. Oh, apparently the stream is unlisted. I should probably go fix that. Uh, cool. Um, yep. Let me change that. Okay, now it's public, I think. I don't know if I have to click save. Oh, it really helps to do that. Um, okay, it looks like we're <laughs> officially live now and the stream's no longer unlisted. Uh, thanks so much for pointing that out, Stu. I uh, so much appreciate that. Uh, cool, so I'm just gonna download this SVG here. And I have a flat icon account, but I haven't logged in. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and drag in this SVG. Cool. So we've got a good amount of padding here. So I'm just going to hold and shift. Adjust that. I'll have 35 pixels of padding. And go with some Flexbox styles here. Add in this logo. 
Let's set it to high TTI. We want everything to align to the top. Cool. And then we're going to add in some text links. Let's make sure we set this to a vertical display. And I just realized something. Let me go update real quick. Uh, just to resolve that. Um, give me one second to argue my mind. I just need to make a quick update and I'll refresh here in a second. Okay, cool. So uh, let's go ahead and style out this first text link. Um, text link. And uh, we want to add a little bit of margin on this. So I hop around a lot. Uh, I think that's pretty common. Uh, for web designers um, and I am on a brand new PC and I've, I'm always used to working on a MacBook so this is new territory for me so if you see me stumbling around uh, just, <laughs> just know and bear with me uh, that's where I'm at today <laughs> um, cool so we've got colors for that first one uh, these are probably about 16 pixels and I like to use and units, let me add that to the body style. Um, so one end is essentially like one body or line height. So let's go with like 1.6 again. Cool. And yeah. Let's add a little bit of bottom margin to this. It's about 35 pixels. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. Three times, so we've got six on here total. No more. Cool. Uh, let's go to typography. So usually I have a PSD that I'm working off of. Um, that would make things a little bit easier. I'm gonna pop up this chat here. Um, okay, looks like everyone's being pretty quiet. That's fine. Um, I encourage you to ask any questions that you have. Um, I'm here to help and answer any questions you might have. So elements number four components. Layout. And other stuff. I need to go live there. Cool. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and change the, the opacity on these a bit so it looks like the opacity is down by like maybe 10 or 20 percent it's hard to tell somewhere around there oh my mic volume might be low okay i can up that a little bit okay let me know how this is how's that just testing that out let me know how that is, and if it's not looking good, then I can adjust it. So, um, gone ahead and styled that. So it's at about 50%. We're going to change the. Um, we're going to go ahead and link typography to this home page. And once we've done that, um, we're actually entering the current state. So now I, I'm going to go ahead and set this to full opacity for that current state. I'm um, just to make sure that looks good and is matching. Cool. So, we'll get up next. We have this, we have this right side bar. So I've got the side panel here, but I'm going to add in, um, let's just do a section here. And let's call this uh, right section. And this one is going to be, let's see, why do we make this 10%? This is going to be 80% here. 
and I'm just going to float it right. You can yell at me for using floats, but it didn't really work. Um, so I'm going to do that. And okay, let's go ahead. Let's add a little more padding here at the top. I think about 50 pixels, or let's do 75. Yeah, this will look better. Bring that out of the section. And then we're going to add some padding on top. And let's go ahead and add it in the container. Cool, so now I've got a container in there. Um, let's see, and then still need to add some padding to that. to add background to this piece. Let's give it a min height, say 100 views. <laughs> yes, no, so now I'm using floats, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so this relative positioning. And it's this lighter color here. It's either that one or this one. Maybe it's one other one. Oh, there's so many inside this one. Let's grab that image one more time. Uh, Let's make sure everything's matching up. Okay, so it looks like it's not matching. So sometimes it's easier just to grab the image and go change up your styles. Um, cool. So let's make this one here. And it looks like there's like a very slight gradient on that, so that's why it's kind of messing with my eyes. Um, that's totally fine. Cool. So let's add in that H1, and oh, let's change all the body copy. Again, styling those global styles. And oh, that's going to be white. Cool. And here's our H1, another style of a global H1. So my headings are like, like a 1.3 EM, somewhere around there. Uh, you can definitely adjust that however you need to, um, however you see fit. So, make a semi bold. Cool. And let's, add, let's go ahead and add in the mist. Alright, so let's grab those and call this a type row. Set to 100% width. And just add some padding like that. Cool. Go. And that's going to have a few of these pills, um, which have. And I might I'm gonna grab this small image. I'm just going to go ahead and just make it tiny so it's easier to reference. Yeah, 200 pixels. Maybe that's too small. Yeah, that's way too small. Like eighty percent. Cool. Yeah. That'll work. Now it's just easier to reference. And let's see, this type row is gonna be flex style, and this that justify space between. Here is type. So you don't have to add in these classes manually. Um, I just do that, that's that's my preference. Um, here's a, a nice little trick. If you type in, if you want to do some math, like if you want to make that perfect 33.33% repeating, um, you can just type in 100 divided by 3%. Um, and then you get that nice 33.333 repeating style. Um, and this one is going to have so it's this background color here. <laughs> yeah. So let's add a little bit of padding to that. Maybe about, it's only about 10 pixels in that mock up. Um, cool. But this one's also going to be going to have some flex styles to it. And then let's just keep it as is. Drop in this uh, text 
highlight. Okay. And make this about like 45 percent. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bob Ross, okay. Uh, I'm just having so fun here. So I'm glad y'all are here. Um, so thank you all for tuning in. It really means a lot to me. And uh, for all those of you watching afterwards, I hope that you're enjoying uh, the recording. Um, so I'm planning to do at least one of these a week. Uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best there. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's add in. Just to add an H1 here. I'm so used to pressing Command C, Command V instead of Control C, Control V. Let's add in those A's, and we want this to be centered. Um, just set this to 1M. There we go. And we want to get rid of the margin. So we have a default margin setting on um, all heading elements. Uh, as well as pa paragraph elements. So <laughs> I need to add a cabin eventually. So th this might end up being a cabin later on. We'll see. Uh, if anyone can find a link to a cabin and send that to me on Twitter, uh, that'd be awesome. Um, I'll definitely add that um, as the logo up here. So yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, this isn't quite forty percent. I think the mockup. It's that. Ooh, maybe I can add in my 42. Oh, no, it's not quite. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's do 42%. That's my favorite number, so let's make it happen. Um, I think 40 pixels are padded. Cool. And then add in, let's see, there's one more dude here. And then this one's going to be 58%. I'm using Flexbox style, so technically I don't have to be doing exact widths here, but I like being explicit um, when it comes to those styles just to force old browsers uh, to know exactly like you know what's going on here. Uh, it's good to let them keep those updated. So let's add in some text. Okay, and we are going with this open sans. And we've got like a small descriptor underneath this. Let's make sure this is set to the left. There we go, cool. Just gonna copy this and paste it. And make sure it's like a vertical alignment. And so right there we go, cool. Let's give this uh, text description. And again, I'm probably gonna go back and change all of these later on. Um, I do that pretty often uh, as far as my class names just to make sure they're nice and succinct. Um, let's make this bold. Let's make sure this text right here is actually bold. Let's send bold right now. Okay there's bold. Cool so we've got that first one made. So, so just go ahead and copy and paste it over three times and we've got some margin going on here so Let's go ahead and add in like 20 pixels to the right, except for this last one. I'm going to add a combo class to the right side. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that margin just so everything's nice and spaced out. Cool. Um, and then we need to change this to duplicate this semi bold. Let's switch this one over to semi bold. Semi bold. And do this one. Let's see what was the. It's called semi bold. Not the same one. And go ahead and duplicate that. And this one's like a, just a regular. Um, cool. Alright, set that to normal. Set this to regular, even though it should be normal. Um, but regular is fine. Um, I don't have any issues with that. I noticed that this has like a 
slightly less opaque color to it. So um, we can adjust this maybe down to like 50%. Yeah, that looks better. Cool. So we've got that that first section made. Awesome. Um, I want to make sure that this is set to overflow scroll. Oh, I'm not used to this scroll bar here. Maybe there's an option to turn that off. Okay, but we'll move on to that next section. So let's copy this heading. And paste that. Okay. Oh no. Let's see. And when you arrow, you can arrow up and down between elements. So I don't know how many um, designers are utilizing this feature. That's one of my favorite features. The arrow up and down it goes to, between parent and children. And if you go left and right on the arrow keys, uh, it's like siblings. Um, so cool. It's when you arrow up and you paste in an element, it pastes it at the bottom of or pastes the element as a child at the bottom of the parent. So okay, let's call this headings. And we're gonna go with the H2 on this one. Cool. And make sure all H2s it's semi bold. Looks good. Cool. Okay, now we have this nice little wrapper. Um, I really like this part. This stood out to me. Um, and that's why I wanted to build it. So, yeah. Um, let me know if I should be checking Twitter um, in the comments for any links that you're sending over. I don't think they could be sent in the YouTube chat, so just keep them posted. Cool. So let's go ahead and add in this next row. Um, here's the heading row. Cool. And I have a habit of setting everything to 100% width, position relative, and clear left. Um, I blame Internet Explorer. Um, previously, I had to support that. <laughs> and so it's just a force of habit there. That's not something you have to do. Um, just something I've grown used to doing over a long period. So cool. Oh, I definitely missed some of the border radius here. So there's like a nice slight border radius. Now let's go ahead and add, if that's like four pixels. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like four pixels. Um, maybe about three pixels on these. With a nice inner piece there. Okay, awesome. Everyone's pretty quiet in the chat. Hopefully, you can see everything's working. Got three people. Thank you all again for tuning in. Okay, got that heading row. And let's add in, let's call this like light block. Um, and let's do 100% width. Add about it's about 20 pixels. So it looks like it's about double whatever this pattern is here. So just keep that consistent. Keep it there. Okay, so now is it this color? Yeah, looks like that's it. So that first one just got uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy log, and it's just gonna be an H1. Um, and I might change some of the labels that are in this mock-up. Um, yeah, quick. Lazy dog. Not log dog. Okay. Cool. And again, I'm going to get rid of... I'm just going to remove this glove way. Set this to zero. And zero here. Adjust this a little bit. Twenty-five pixels of top padding. Um, let's see here. Twenty. A little bit more margin. Looks like thirty-five. So forty-five total. And okay, thirty-eight. Okay, they've got it as thirty-six pixels. Um, so I'm still going to keep this 1.3 M there, and let's copy.
copy over this description, paste that over here. And I'm just going to call this H1. 36 pixels. Uh, 1.3 M. And let's open, let's see, it's 4. And we can duplicate this one here. I think, is that the same class? Looks like it's just a tiny bit. Ah, uh, there's just a margin. So, any description. I'll just add a little bit of padding to it. Yeah, cool. It's about 10 pixels there. This top one's got that border radius, so I can use the same one we were using earlier. Which is about four pixels. Let's get that so on that top. Four pixels. Four pixels. Cool. And well, it actually looks a bit more intense, so I'll adjust that as needed. Maybe ten pixels. Looking a bit better. If anyone gets the exact border pixels on that, that would be awesome. I can adjust it as we need to. <laughs> Have a great night, Stu. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Cool. Go ahead and copy this right here and paste it. And let's call this, duplicate this class and call it dark block. And this one, let me use that slightly darker blue. It's not quite this blue, and it doesn't have any border radius. So I'm just gonna Alt click or Option click on the border radius styles. And okay, so this one. Oh, that's interesting. This style guide they have it as Hero H1, H2, all the way through H4, but I mean, Heroes technically, it, it needs to be the H1 most of the time. Um, so, we can stray away from that. Um, I don't think we can lose that. So, cool. But this one here, I'm sure it's headed to H2. And let's call this. Let's just go with this the H2 and still have that global class instead. So this one is 28 pixels. Let's go with 1.3 M again. And then let's change this to H2. 28 pixels. Cool. And also need to get rid of that margin padding. Cool, there we go. That's looking good. And I'm just gonna copy this, paste it over, and I'm gonna call this one light. I'm just gonna duplicate this class and call it light block B2 or Flat. Yeah, it's got flat lines. And alternate back to this color here. Cool. Okay, so now we've got the H3. And style that H3. Um, so the H3, they have it at 24 pixels. Er, let's see. That's their H2, so it is 24 pixels. 1.3 and looks a lot better needed a semi bold uh, for this one um, and I noticed that we weren't showing the font weight here so that's an interesting approach to have the bold semi bold and regular 
up here. So I guess you can have any iteration of that. That's totally up to you. This. Don't forget to update for H3. Cool. Yeah, so let's copy this one. And I'm just arrowing up and pasting. That way it's pasting at the bottom of this list. And then let's go with the H4. Just another global H4. Get rid of this margin on here. So it's totally fine to keep margin on there. But it looks like Matt, Matt's world is in here. How's it going, Matt? Um, welcome, welcome. So that H4, and still really like that uh, semi bold. So there we go. And font size there is. Let's see, it's just 18. They use 20. Um, I could go with 20. It doesn't hurt. Make sure it's not a global selector. 20. Cool. There we go. Um, and please post any questions that you have in the chat room. Um, happy to help. I might just go down to H5 um, just so we can get that nice closing gap. So copy this. Oh, paste. And this one's going to have a rounded corner or a rounded bottom. For that combo class. 10 pixels. All the way down to H5. So most of my designs, I only end up at like H4. Um, but that's totally up to you. How you'd like to start off your site and how far your content goes. Most sites don't really go past H3s anymore, um, but it's still possible. So um, totally possible. Cool. So this last one. Let's make it, so this one was 20 pixels, let's make this one 18 pixels and switch it Ten pixels, three down, and go back to that semi-bold, cool. All right, so that's looking good. So next up we've got paragraphs, uh, these should go pretty quick. So let's see. Copy this and just arrow up. Paste it in. Cool. This one's going to be paragraphs. And I'm going to add a little bit of margin on this last bottom one. 45 pixels just to push everything down. Uh, but now we'll just grab this right here and paste it in. And as well as this bottom one. It looks like they started with a darker top and lighter bottom. So we'll change that up a little bit. Let's see, do we have any margin here? No. This here, side of the pair. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah, we have that as a heading row. So we're gonna add a new div block and give it that same heading row class. Just to get that same styling. What's up, Riley? How you doing? Glad to see you here. Boom. Alright, so let's drop this on in here. Alright, and this one's gonna be Let's do it there. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can duplicate it. So, 
Styled global paragraph element, so looks like I got about 16 pixels um, as the body. Um, we could go with 16 pixels, it's yeah, you know, that works. Um, but I want to increase our spacing, and I'm gonna go 1.8, and you can also change the opacity on this font here, so but um, still want it to be easy to read. So I'll make it like 65% opacity, or this one's a bit more opaque, so let's go with 85%. Cool. Um, and let's make sure we get that background color correct. There we go. So that's the dark one. And let's go ahead and copy and paste this one. Or let's change this information. So it's just the text. And the paragraph. We have this in all caps. Paragraph. Text. And then size to be more than 16 pixels now. 16 pixels. If anyone thinks of uh, better space in there, let me know. Totally open to that. So again, I'm, I'm eyeballing this off of the design. So hopefully, it matches pretty closely. Uh, we shall see. Cool. So this is going to be the bottom container. So I'll get rid of set that border radius to zero real quick. I'll change this to ten. And we're going to change the background color here to the slight one. There we go. Cool. And here it looks like the paragraph's a little bit lighter. So paragraph light. So instead of that 85% opacity, it might be like 65% or lower. Um, plays tricks on your eyes. Maybe 55%. Yeah, you can still read everything. Um, so it looks good. So, yeah, let's keep that. Awesome. So I might, I might just toss this inside. Um, I'm thinking that quickly. I don't want to adjust anything here. So they have this as 22 pixels. Let's see what it looks like as 22 pixels for the line height. The two pixels. It's a bit not closed. I don't know. Let's everyone think of that. Do we have like one point four n? Yeah, that's that's a nice spacing. Pretty easy to read. Um, fun little site that I can use. Go. Uh, let's see, Pirate Gibson. I think that's what it's called. It's a weird system. McLaurin Ipsum. Um, so you add in, let's see, we need like a, two sentences. And then it creates some fun uh, pirate Ipsum we can use. Um, it's pretty handy. Usually it's nice to grab some copy off of uh, actual uh, brand guidelines or whatever you have available to you. Um, just something that shows off all the text. Let's make sure um, we don't have any actual swear words in here. Eh. Uh, we'll stick to the Lauren Ipsum for now. <laughs> um, that'll work. Cool. And let's see. Okay, for this other section, I'm going to toss this into. Just a parent container. Just so it's easier to copy and paste everything over. 
Um, and when you're in the navigator panel, you can just move things left and right here to so switch what the parent is. It's a really nice little feature. Um, one of our engineers, Soren, actually built that out. Um, it's about fitting around. And this is not a client gig, um, Riley. I'm actually doing a rebuild, um, or not a rebuild, but a build of um, the style guide which Aaron Iker designed. It's really beautiful. Um, I just like the dark theme and the color is really catchy, so I went for it. Um, it's really beautiful. Cool. So, um, I'm just gonna to 45 pixels. Yeah, it is very crisp. Um, okay, so now I've got the same class on this heading row, as well as this. So let's change that up a little bit. Let's change this to something else. And again, I, I, I would clean up all these styles after I'm done. Um, and it's nice, to, you can go into the style manager here. And you can see all those classes that you've made and you can rename them here or you can rename them directly on the canvas. Um, or just by selecting an element and go into the style panel and editing the class name. So it's, it's really easy to rename those classes. So keep those CSS files clean. Um, let's see. Does anyone know how to mute notifications here? Let's see. Uh, I'm on the Windows machine for the first time in forever, in case you're just tuning in. So, just learning my way around. Um, cool. So, this last section, let's see, it's going to be an H3. Why not? Um, this is for captions. Uh, this is the new PC. Now it seems to be going pretty well. Uh, please let me know how the stream is looking. Um, if I need to optimize anything, uh, this PC should be able to handle it. So, okay, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the Slack. One moment. Outside. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> so it's a lot easier to mute notifications on a Mac compared to PC. So sorry for hanging up there. Oh, thanks for bearing with me. Cool. So it's going to be a caption. Here is a caption. Um, add. I'm also going to go back and add in some colors here just to make this super useful. Um, easy to update. Let's add caption style. And we have it as all caps. So there's nice little all caps here. It's about 12 pixels. Um, maybe it's even smaller. Yeah, let's go 12 pixels. And this down to like 55%. It's a really light caption there. Cool. It looks nice though. And pop caption. Pop caps. So it is 12 pixels. And 0.4 arrows. Cool. There we go. And now for this next one. Interesting, they have a label and then they have small and then very small. Um, so I might adjust the radius. Yeah. Cool. Let's put 
go in. So I'm gonna go with the light one on this one first. I'm gonna do dark one. Just grabbing this. And my arrow can select that parent. Just delete this. And paste this here. Oh, not inside of there. There we go. And copy this. Paste that. And copy this. So this is going to be a label, so I'm just going to duplicate this, label, and it's going to be a bit more opaque, it's about 90% opacity, and this one's about 14 pixels, I think that is 16 pixels, um, and it's not all caps. So here is label. Add to the forms. Pretty good. Usually that's where you have labels. Um, cool. And just this. Label. And edit is just 16 pixels. Four. Dark row. I guess I, I could just use this in class and build out the structure. Let's do that. Copy this. Paste it. And we'll call it dark row. Dark, right, dark block. That's what we call them. And then this one's just going to be a small, small text. smaller description. Totally up to you. Okay, and this one's size 14. Oops. We got to change the class there. So let's duplicate that class. And then this one's going to be just small. It's 14. And let's change the capacity. 55, yeah, work. And change this to 15 pixels. And then we've got the smallest one after this. So I'm just going to copy this little block. small um, it's 11 pixels so super tiny um, they have it as 18 pixels for the line height so I'll do like 1.3 and let's go with 1.6 and get this down to like 55 Go. All right. So now we can. I think that's everything. Yeah. Well, so we can get rid of this right here, and we don't need that min height anymore. And we can add 75 pixels down to the bottom. No, it's just nice and scrollable. And if we just it to, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's nicer. The auto. Scroll is a nice feature. 
um, especially when you don't have any overflowing, anything overflowing on the x-axis. Cool. So uh, it's always good to make this responsive. Um, so of course this right here is kind of difficult to read. So I'm going to change this to 100% width and do a horizontal. Um, let's say to relative positioning and then arrow over to the other element. Let's set it to no longer float. Percent width. It's clear on the right. Visible. Side panel. Oh, we have to change that auto height. Yeah, something like that. Adjust it as needed. Um, and then be sure to add some margin on these pixels. And just add it in here. Nice. Okay, so it's responsive. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller. Get rid of this margin. Yeah. Just add what? Is it there? Okay. It's misclicked. Add Ten pixels right there. Okay. Cool. And let's see. This right here is getting a little bit. Big. Let's adjust the pattern right here. So I like having a responsive um, style guide. I think it's really nice to just send it. Be like, hey, check this out. Me and your client can look at it on on any device. Most of the time, they end up doing it on the iPad. So it actually works out pretty well. Let's change this. And we'll set it to just center. Uh, no, I like it. Line. Yeah, it's nice because it's got that too. Maybe we'll add about 10 pixels. Yeah. Left line, cool. There we go. Yeah, side panel doesn't need quite 75 pixels. I can change that to like 25. Yeah, that's good. And as we get down to mobile, um, there are a few different approaches you can take here. Um, usually I make, like, actually use a nav menu to do this. Um, if everyone wants to see that, I can, I can make that happen. Um, just let me know. Um, I'll be happy to. Just making things responsive here. Just a little bit responsive. Maybe most of the time the client's going to pull it up like this and look at it and we're going to go ahead and wrap this to the vertical and change the width to 100% and get rid of that margin on the left. Oh, I forgot to change that earlier, it could have been a bit less. Tiny bit of margin between these. Bottom, it's going to be like 10 pixels. Oops, wrong element selected. So I need to add that on its height bone. There we go. That's my thought. And this can be 30%. These when they're kind of more square. A little bit of nice. Let's go. Cool. So now it's it's all responsive. We've got a nice little style guide, at least for the text. Um, I would set an overflow. I'm gonna keep these horizontally scrollable, and from here. Um, get rid of that bottom padding a bit, and then just set that overflow auto, which would allow this to be scrollable horizontally. And whenever you do that, be sure to add some extra padding. 
on the right side. So 25 pixels of padding just to make sure that we can get all the way over. So might need to adjust that a bit more later on. I don't know. I mean, I would, I would make that a, a nav menu, honestly. And I can do that. If, every, if everyone wants to see that, I could do that instead. Cool. Okay. So, but um, I called it a slate style guide. I wasn't really sure what to call it. Um, I'll go ahead and publish this. And we can do it on your end. All about sharing those secure links. Let's see if I can actually paste this in here. If it's gonna kick me out. Cool, it looks like that worked. If you want to check it out, um, I'll also share the preview link, and I'll make this clonable um, after I'm done with the stream, so everyone can check it out. Let's share that read-only link. So check that on your end. Cool. So the first page is done. And next up we've got colors. So honestly, I'm just going to duplicate this page. Um, and I'm going to rename this to typography. Yeah. And now I'm going to duplicate it. Let's just duplicate. And colors. Cool. And we'll go ahead and create that. Cool, so now we're linking to this page instead. Cool, there we go. Ah, this should be a symbol. I forgot to do that. I'll go back and switch this out to a symbol. So, Control Shift A. Let's call this Side Nav. Cool, there we go. Colors. And I'm just going to delete that. And add in side nav symbol. Hmm. Looks like it's stuck. Okay, there we go. Fine. Okay, we're good to go. Let's make sure this is linked up to your colors. Which we got that nice current style. Cool. Okay, so this time. Uh, this is what we're going to be building out here. So we've got the primary, primary light, secondary, grayscales. Really like this part. Um, got that super, super subtle drop shadow. Um, and the light styles, a few gradients, and some alert colors. Um, let's see. I'll open up OBS here and see if I can grab my face and add that to the screen. Hopefully that's not too distracting. Um, cool, let's see, we get capture device. Let's add that in. No, it's not going to work. Cool. I don't see it, so I have no idea where it is. Um, so I can get back here. Just say hello to everyone. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in so far. I'm um, glad that you're here. Uh, it feels really weird talking to a camera, uh, but I know that you've got an awesome audience out there. And uh, for those of you watching later on, uh, I'm glad you're here. Uh, so please feel free to reach out if you have any questions at all. And back to it. Cool. Next time, uh, I'm getting a hang of this OBS, so it'll be a bit better stream next time. Um, and I'll have my face probably somewhere in the bottom left hand corner where it's out of the way. Um, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to delete this. And is this a sketch queue inside of anything? No, it's not. I'm going to drop this inside of here. And I'm going to delete this. Cool. Okay. So 
I'm going to add in the image so we've got something to reference. These colors. Awesome. There we go. And we're on to colors. There we go. Colors. These are just going to be blocks here, which is pretty simple. Um, I'm going to duplicate these classes. Let's call this color row. And there are just a few of them. I really like the way that's it's laid out. Um, here. Right here. And a pretty small color box, too. Color block. Color block. Cool. Um, and these are going to have about, let's change the width to maybe 20%. And the height to like 65 pixels. A bit taller. Let's go with 100 pixels. We've got a lot of room to work with here. Anyways, cool. We've got first color block and it's a primary color. Beautiful. All its glory. What color is this? Oh, it's nice. Looks a lot like the Pope Leo. Um, go ahead and save it. And add in the next one. And we're just going to set these to my left here. Cool. Color block. Oh, these need to have little labels underneath them. Okay, so to do that, let's add in a div pull to each of the color blocks. Cool. And color block pivot. So this one's actually going to be the 20% style, and the color block's going to be 100%. And And we want a small heading. Ooh, let's grab one of those head or those labels. The typography page. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's go with this, a little caption. I like that. Copy and pasting. Um, and we're gonna add some margin to this. This one they just have it labeled as primary. And I like to add in actual um, Xcode just so whoever's using the style guide makes it easier for them to just copy and paste it. There's a little code if you go to webflow.com slash style guide. Uh, pull that up. And it, there's some code on here that Ryan added. So whenever you click on it, um, it actually copies that to your clipboard. It's a really nice effect. I've done that in a few projects. Um, so I might end up doing that and pulling it over, but that would mean some custom code. So I haven't quite decided yet if I want to do that. Okay, so we've got that first one. And. This one's the one that's going to have the margin to the right of it, so I'm going to get rid of this style. See, control view. Oh no, it's not that style. It's my pixels. And it's going to be the primary light. I wonder if the intention there is to have that um, be a less opaque version of that. It's possible. It looks like it. But nope, that's not the case. Um, interesting. Okay. A small issue there, so I'm gonna find that later. Kind of block. Primary light. Um, let's move this over here. Cool. And the hex code for that is 
purple. I'm going to add that to global swatches. It's a medium purple. That's a great name. Medium purple. And this next one. Take a look. Secondary. It's a, it's a nice blue. Yeah. What are we going to call that? Deep sky blue. Cool. I like it. Just copying that hex code for like reference. Cool. Okay, I've got that first row ready. Um, up next, let's grab this color row and drop it in underneath here. It's going to be gray scales. This makes me question the height here on these petals. Um, I mean, that's a lot closer to the actual style guide. I might go with that. You can always adjust it at any time. That's, that's definitely acceptable to do. <laughs> okay, so on these, it's a little bit different. So rather than doing it like that, we're going to have like a full width parent and then each of these pills in here. Um, and then just a small. Um, Label down here. Cool. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And here I'm going to set the color block parent to. Got that perfect 16.666 repeating percent. And let's change the background color to that first one. It's a nice dark color. Cool. Um, actually, I want to add in something to hold all of these. That caption too. I mean, I guess I could move the caption out. Yeah, that was, let's do this. Let's do that. Adjusting this a little bit, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, I've got that grayscale parent, and it's got about no margin on it whatsoever. Relative position, and set that overflow to hidden. What's the boy radius on this? Four. Pixels. And hover. Cool. There we go. And this grayscale block, it's already got that 4 and 4. That's the right side here. Set that to 0. And 0, so we've got that nice and flush right there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, okay, go ahead and copy and paste that. And I can set these to flex. So you can either flex those or float them. Totally up to you. Whatever floats your boat. Yes, I said that. <laughs> so, okay, down to 
I'm just going to add a modifier class of like two. Um, you can always adjust these later on. So we got that one. Next one. All right, do we? These have to be zero. Okay, so I might actually duplicate the class once. Just to make it nice and consistent. Um, gray 2. I can just call it gray 2. Like this. Um, I'm going to add. So it's basically a parent. Very soft. Um, here it looks like a bit more blur. The drop shadows are a ton of fun. I've used so much of them. Um, set this to like 10 pixels. Oh, there we go. Looks a little bit better. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, let's see if it's 20 pixels up there. Is that crazy? No, I think that's, that's just right. It makes me want to put that on everything now but we'll see and for those of you that are like i can hardly see the difference um yeah that's <laughs> um some of these are really difficult to see um, especially on dark but glow um what's it called low contrast designs so yeah I'm gonna copy this and duplicate three three Particularly correct spelling, but that will work for now. So, whenever you copy and paste, it still keeps your original element selected, so you have to arrow over or just select that element. Okay, three, four. We're getting really close to being done. It's going pretty quick, especially for a live stream in the event so, and a few technical difficulties. <laughs> This one, we need to be sure to add that rounded corner. Right side, so. Four pixels. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And then, I didn't mean to add that to all the blurs. Oops. There we go. It looks like I totally forgot to adjust the borders on these. So this one should be zero. Let's make sure this one's set to zero on all of them. And these in between blocks. Cool. There we go. Nice. Okay. Up next, we've got these light gray scales. And I'm gonna adjust So 
now this is grace parent. Let's copy this. Paste it beneath the dark one and this. This one only has four. Make me these two. And okay, um, call these light gray. Got some gradients, so I'll just copy and paste this. Yeah, it's too long. Whatever. No, let's, let's copy and paste it. So here, or let's paste it. Might as well. Gradients. Uh, and these. They look a lot more like this row. I'll copy this current row. And then just paste it directly beneath the gradients. And delete these. Cool. Call this primary gradient. And I'm going to add the line break here. And I'll do the actual color change. So, oh, okay, so let's do that. Color file, let's change it to gradient one. And so for adding this gradient, I'm going to go ahead and remove this background color style. And we'll switch it to gradient instead. It's going to come down. So it's this primary color. And they have it. Looks like they're fading to the secondary, or the lighter version of that. Let's see. Looks like, yeah, looks like it about matches. Um, cool. So it's essentially this color here to this primary light. So let's copy this. that. Just call it the light gradient. And this one is that secondary color to white, which is just back and other. white one and it's gonna uh, change to solid color. No issue, we're working on it. Stay posted. Um, point down and that goes to white. Cool. There we go. Got that gradient. And lastly we've got those alerts. So um, let's just go ahead and copy this, paste it. And I'm going to grab some alerts for some of these colors up here. Let's just grab this color row again. Paste that in. Alerts. Just alert. 
Oh, come on. Yeah, it's an alert guy. And let's see. So we've got success, error, and warning. Okay, so it's for each of those states. So I'll call this success. These little styles here. And I add in set color. This green success. And we'll call it success green. There we go. Cool. And then copy that. Um, so typically use those in like forms or. And that's where you use these alerts at, basically, is in forms. Um, well, so, new block alert, block alert 2, and this calls error. Error. And then background color is this nice soft red. Add that to the swatches. Get red. Cool, and last one. And then we can make it responsive. So we have warning. Block warning. Let's grab color. Oh no. I have to scroll down to have it in view. Oh, there's the drop tool. There we go. Let's copy and copy. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Get rid of this. And we've got our colors, typography, built out. There we go. Awesome. Um, and let's make sure everything is nice and responsive. Good. Still looks good. It could be kind of a lot more padding on that. Yeah, I'm going to add some more. I'm going to adjust these. Um, come down. Well, yeah, that's the color that I see. Still keep it as horizontal. And adjust these to about. 25%. Let's go 30% just to let that go. 3% better. Yeah, there we go. Looks a little better. Uh, keeping the grayscale here. Let's maybe adjust the height of these. Cool. 5 pixels. And same thing here. Select each of these and change them to 55 pixels. So usually it's better to define the height by the parent element. <laughs> um, I should have done that in this case to make this a bit easier. Could go back and do that, but I don't know what else. There's been a few folks still watching. Um, let's. I'll actually just change that up. I do have this. I have a grayscale here. Let's set this. Okay, so these are 85 pixels. Set up to 85 pixels. And set the height on this to 100%. Cool. And do that for each of these.
do that here. We're gonna have to define the heights for the other ones. <laughs> that's, that's associated with. So they're not sitting inside of the element there. That's that's fine. Um, okay, so we're here. Change that grayscale parent height to 55. Cool. And I'm gonna make these. Let's make this 50%. how these alerts are showing up right here. Cool. So we have it. I'll go ahead and publish this. And go for the same ones. Now I'm gonna double check Twitter just in case here. Go ahead and refresh here. Go to the colors page. Cool. These colors here look great. Um, I can test responsiveness as I record in the screen. Off a tiny bit. Um, just checking. Nope. Twitter. And I don't know if we've got anything going on here. We're good. Pretty quiet. Um, all right. So I'm looking forward to see what else. Um, and ends up posting here. So I like building out of my uh, bring it to life bucket. So if you go to um, buckets, you should be able to see this bring it to life bucket. And I was working on this one by Aaron Eicher today. And it looks like Aaron has a few more elements uh, that are ready. Oh, I like yeah, these UI elements are really pretty. Um, I'd love to build these out. So I think I might do that in another stream, if that would be helpful. Um, yeah, it looks like Aaron added those in here. So this is awesome. Cool. So let me switch back to my face. Uh, thank you all so much for joining in today. Um, it's my first stream, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, please be sure to uh, subscribe and click the little bell for notifications. Um, and follow me on Twitter at Waldo Gerdrake. Um, and otherwise, I have the handle at Waldo on most other accounts. Um, but feel free to reach out anytime. We're here to help. So thanks for joining. And until next time, I'll see you.